Well, good afternoon to you. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. And we're excited to be back in the building. And I'll show you where we are in just a moment. But share another daily devotion with you. A thought from God's Word. Well, really, I have two verses. Uh, but really, they go along with one another. And uh, I'll read the first verse of Psalm 119 and one, verse 130. The Bible says, The entrance of thy word giveth light and giveth understanding unto the simple. And then Matthew 5 and verse 14, or verse uh, 13 says, You are the salt of the earth, but if a salt hath lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but is cast out to be trodden under foot. And then verse 14, You are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. And it goes on to talk about hiding our light. And I want to challenge you with something that we're to, to, to think about your own personal life. We are living in unprecedented times and we're living in increasingly evil times. The Bible says it'll get worse and worse before the Lord returns. So how do we live in dark times? And you say, well, I, I'm dealing with darkness of my own heart, my own mind. Well, the first thing we realize is this, that God's word giveth lights. And so we cannot function in a dark world without God's word coming and bringing the light and bringing the truth to us. And then the second part of this that I wanted to share with you, not only do we need God's word, how do we live and function in dark times? Well, we must have the light of God's word. But then the Bible says this, that if we, we are the light of the world and we must let our light shine, and the Bible goes on to say, and when, God, when people see our light, they glorify God. So I want you to think with me just a second about this, that in a dark world, first of all, I need the light of God's word. Second of all, I need to let my light shine. And so I bring those two thoughts to you together because they relate to what I'm going to show you in this part of the building. Uh, we're kind of excited. I'm standing here in front of these beautiful glass windows that they've just started installing the last day or two. Last time we were in this part of the building, you saw some uh, wood uh, temporary things up. And uh, they'll, uh, I'll show you where we are. But you see the window. And uh, I say this to you. The window serves for two purposes. This time of the day, it lets in the natural light and representing God's word. Then at nighttime, you'll drive by this church building and inside here, there'll be lights. As a matter of fact, there'll be two chandeliers and some security lights and you see some other things that the light from the inside will shine in the darkness. And the darker it is outside, the brighter the light is on the inside. So I'm going to show you these windows very quickly. And uh, you see these beautiful arch windows and they're, they're a big feature. We're going to walk for just a second. And uh, you see straight ahead there, you see another one of those temporary ones. And uh, we'll walk for just a second. So I'm going to give you a vantage point from the inside. And then I'm going to give you a quick vantage point from the outside. If you follow me right along, we'll try to walk and the wind's blowing just a little bit. But I want you to come on around here and you can see uh, this is the very center of the building under the drive through You see another one of the arch windows and then there behind you, you see one that is halfway in and you can see some others on around the corner. So we're excited to see these windows go in, uh, but I want to challenge, as I said to you a moment ago, to let your lights shine in a dark time. 